Hey, hi, it's Stuart Almo Pulaski Sr. And I, I love Superpower Beatdown. I'm at the gate and I was just wondering if you can come and open it. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna be here. I'm waiting for you, okay? I'm at the gate. Okay, buddy. I'm so excited to shoot Superpower Beatdown. Bye. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. I can't wait. I'm, this is like, when I come here, it's like everything starts coming back. Like, I remember when we did the Nightwing thing. Remember? Remember the Nightwing thing? That was awesome. You were awesome. So, we're obviously filming for uh, continuing Bloodshot, but we worked so hard on the first scene that Aaron and his dad and the whole Valiant group showed me like the final cut of that scene. Dude, I'm telling you, it was real filmmakers, art, and I'm just a big fan of Bloodshot because I've been researching the heck out of it, almost every single book. Really good, guys, awesome scene, man. Very impressed. How'd you wind up with Bloodshot? Can you talk about that, that process? Um, yeah, you know, I've worked with Aaron uh, quite a few times on Bat and the Sun. Aaron, Aaron called me about the Bloodshot I wanted to research a little bit more. Not that I wanted to research to see what it was all about. I didn't know anything about Bloodshot. So I wanted to really research his character and I found that Bloodshot has a huge following. So I'm hoping that the Bloodshot hardcore Valiant people are, you know, are, are excited about it. You know, because I'm trying to do the best I can with the Bloodshot role. So we're here at the scene where uh, Ninjak and Bloodshot are gonna fight. Ninjak is basically rigged this entire place because he knows that the only way to take down Bloodshot is by catching him by surprise, using traps, using his brains over Bloodshot. So we've got this long hallway that Bloodshot is gonna try and make his way through. So we're gonna keep them real tight and uh, confined in this space. Uh, we got all these blue accents, kind of sci-fi feel. We also want to keep as much light off the walls as possible. So all these lights are going to get angled in slightly. Duvetine on the sides. That way we can keep this wall dark. That way the room feels a little bit bigger. For now, this is going to play pretty practically. And they're going to be able to sh run all the way down this length and still stay lit. So how are you feeling about the uh, choreography? And... It's bad in the sun. What we do. <laughs> That's how we it. Album's great. Good stuff. Just uh, guns and stuff, you know? First time actually holding a real gun like that. I'm not a real gun, but you know what I'm So I'm gonna practice how to work it. Three, two, one, action. Cut. That's great. Uh, Alright, moving on. Uh, Alvin. Alvin, that was Alvin. Alvin, he said he's surprised it looks cool. My job is just to do the best I can for Bloodshot and continue the growth for Valiant Comics and hopefully that the people that are hardcore, die-hard die fans of Bloodshot can see that this is a real live action character versus a cosplay character. But they did a really good job. Like the eyes in it and my eyes is just, they don't look like me, which I like. I like the fact that it doesn't look like me. All right, here we go. And three, two, one action. That was good. Let's go again. Put that again. That was good, though. All right, here we go. And three, two, one action. Cool. Hi, my name is Alvin Singh. I am a stunt performer here in LA. And uh, for this show on Ninjak, I'll be the fight coordinator slash stunt coordinator. Uh, well, Ninjak is classically in the in the books. Uh, he's trained in a in a rare form of ninjutsu, but um, you know, in the show, I have him doing you know a bit more martial art esque uh, moves. Um, Jason's character, um, Bloodshot, you know, he as well can. He knows all the martial arts as well. I mean, his, his blood is infused with uh, nanite technology, so he pretty much can download you know, information from the internet and stuff. But for this particular uh, incarnation of Bloodshot, um, we've talked about more leaning on uh, his brutality and his strength. Uh, you know, he does know martial arts as well, but we're gonna separate the looks and the feel of each character, kind of have their own styles. 
So if Ninja Act, you know, you want to go classic martial art, you know, moves, more speed, and uh, Bloodshot, you know, martial arts as well, but, you know, focus a bit more on his strength and his brutality. Whenever I get to work with Jason, I'm always, you know, impressed with his control and, you know, he's been doing martial arts his whole life. I, you know, I followed him like many others and he comes from a long lineage of uh, martial artists and martial artists specifically that have, you know, been in the film industry. So he knows uh, a bit more than maybe the average uh, MMA fighter or martial artist uh, in terms of cinematic language and you know, where to be feeling the camera to sell the hits and to still be safe. So what's going on with this cut? This cut, we just, well you guys got cut. We got cut a few shots ago. So now we're gonna show it. And then uh, he'll take another cut. Right, let's make it to the forearms again later. <laughs> Both forearms get cut. And that stomach cut, right here after this. Boom, boom. I don't think we wanna cut the shirt, so you'll just actually dodge it, hollow out with that, and hit the gun. And it blocks the last cut. Does he automatically heal? Or does he have to like, like, like I'm healing, like he's gonna will it, will it to heal? He doesn't have to will it, the nanites work inside him. So okay, okay. Stitch them together. Okay. What do we have to do in there? You just have to feel pain when you get hit. Here we go. And three, two, one, action. Cut. Hey, I'm Mike Rowe, and I'm playing Ninjack. Uh, never a dull moment. Always beating somebody up or somebody beating me up. Um, keeps you on your toes. Feel like it's kind of like, uh, you ever watch Pink Panther? Movies back in the day where Inspector Cousseau would hire that guy to attack him every time he came home. It's like that every time you show up on set. Somebody's trying to knock your head off. Been talking to Aaron for a while about doing something together and it evolved into this. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty uh, crazy stuff that we do. So you gotta have a lot of trust in the person that you're doing it with. And uh, Jason's a total pro. He's been doing it for a long time. He's got legit fight experience. I'm a fight fan. Uh, so we have good chats about that and um, I met him a while ago at a Comic Con and I always knew he was a good dude. And, um, you know, I don't know what that's going to bring you. We're on set together. It's pretty fun. Ready? And. Three, two, one, action. Good cut? Yes. Yes. Yep. I'm ready. I need something to drink too. Yep, there we are, man. Let's do this one take, then we'll take a break. Today we are filming Ninja vs. the Valiant Universe. We've got Jason David Frank to start the big fight between Ninja and Bloodshot. It's going to be epic. We shot a little bit of it yesterday. A lot of hand uh, held, a lot of gun versus knife versus sword. It's going to be big, it's going to be epic. Our characters have never been consciously, never been translated to live action. So we thought it was a huge opportunity for our fans to get excited and for new fans to find our characters. We wanted to build something really cool outside of the system, you know, something with people that understood what made comic book characters cool. So that's what we're doing here. Really true to the characters, really cool storytelling, hopefully something that no one's ever seen before on, on the digital landscape. Hey, Aaron. Yeah. No, new line added. So what's happening right now? They're writing lines behind you. Oh. Bloodshot just uh, fell through. through the roof. The roof. Nice. The roof, and um, you know he's uh, tore up a little bit, but I but I yeah, healed. Probably is. Now we're gonna face Ninjack, and they're figuring out some uh, dialogue because we and him have a history together. I don't really like Ninjack in a way, and I kind of want to beat him up, and so I'm first here to beat him up. That's just scripted wise, not like in real life. Mike's a good guy, but I'm saying it in general. There you go. I like that better. Here we go. Uh, so take, so Ninja, take, take a step forward. Take a half step backwards. Here we go. And three, two, one, action. That was good. Yeah. Well, this is uh, to the end of it right now. This is the last scene, last couple shots. It was cool. We had a full-on fight scene that was like uh, no cuts and all that stuff. Um, and uh, so it's been a challenging uh, last week, but uh, it's been really good and the footage looks awesome. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And, uh, all right, four long, arduous, awesome days. That is a wrap. <laughs>